Hello everyone, DJ's Aviation here. Welcome back to another video of mine. Firstly, this week has been insane regarding news with too much really to handle, so I've had to skip over a few stories. It's also meant in regards to the videos I had scheduled for the week being pushed back to the following week. Um, today's news comes from Air New Zealand. The carrier is targeting a replacement for the Boeing 777-200 aircraft in the coming years. Now you may recall I briefly touched on the Air New Zealand 777s in a video titled Is the 777X Perfect for Air New Zealand? Increasing reports are now stating that well my video clearly influenced their decision making. But for real we know that Air New Zealand are clearly looking at finding a replacement for their 777-200s by around 2022. There are, in my eyes, really only a few options that Air New Zealand would opt for, and that'd be the 777-8X and the A350-900. The time frame for the replacement actually fits perfectly in with the 777-8X introduction. With a long-haul fleet consisting of Boeing aircraft, to me it seems like the logical choice for the airline. Airbus did, however, send their A350-1000 to Auckland during its world demonstration tour. Again, use that term lightly because it really wasn't world, but Airbus still called it that. Um, and that could have solely been for the sake of visiting New Zealand or maybe to hold talks with Air New Zealand about the possibility of opting not necessarily for their A350-1000 jet, but maybe the A350-900. As the A350-1000 is a direct competitor to the 777X series, an option which Air New Zealand would be keen on, this move from Airbus is an attempt at steering the airline away from Boeing altogether. But I've only been discussing two options. It's actually worth noting Boeing may look to offer Air New Zealand a package deal. Now if you are unsure what a package deal is, it's essentially a special deal manufacturers will offer to airlines with usually multiple aircraft in it. But of course this can vary, it might just be the one type of aircraft with maybe 20 orders but at a discount price. The package deal Boeing may look to offer could include more 7879s, the 78710 and maybe even the 7878s, so that's certainly another option for the airline. With the 777-200 mainly being operated on Asian Pacific routes, with also a few services to America, a package deal could benefit the airline greatly, with varying aircrafts to do different tasks. However, in terms of range, the 777-8X would further allow them to expand their network and try to grab a large chunk of the Asian Pacific market with new services direct to there. Either way, I'd love to hear which aircraft you think is best for the airline. Is it the A350-900 or the 777-8X? or maybe even the package deal I discussed, which would hold multiple 787 aircraft. Thank you very much once again for watching one of my videos. I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace. Race all of these broken dreams and flight And we'll fly